Hey everyone, uh, my name is Petya and I'm a part of the Human Made Events team and I'm here with Joe Hoyle, uh, who's one of the instructors Hi. for a week of rest and we want to tell you a little bit more about this boot camp that we're organizing for WordPress developers to learn to utilize the WordPress REST API and build awesome responsive web apps with it. The event is going to be from the 5th to the uh, 9th of September in a beautiful rural England uh, in Darwin Lake which is very close to Matlock. It's going to be five days and all of them are dedicated to kind of setting you up and teaching you teaching WordPress developers and the people that are attending to work with the API and to utilize different technologies. We have three instructors for the course and Joe is one of them. The other ones are Ryan McHugh, who is also on the WordPress Rust API team. He's co-leading it uh, alongside uh, Rachel Baker. And we have Zach Gordon. Joe, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, this program that you've uh, created alongside the other instructors? Sure. Yeah, so the basic concept um, is to create uh, a web app from start to finish and uh, really introduce the different uh, you know, technologies and things like that as we go in stages. Um, so the kind of format is roughly split up into half days um, of tackling something like authentication or writing data to the API. And we're kind of building on the same project throughout. And then, uh, fingers crossed, by the end, we'll have a uh, fully functional kind of, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to say production ready uh, web app um, that, that, you know, is uh, practical and I guess tangible rather than just um, us all doing lots of exercises. So there, there will be lots of exercises as well. So the idea is for you to teach uh, for the first two days or are you going to start building the app simultaneously as you go? Uh, it's, it's fairly simultaneous. So the format is like per half day block, broadly speaking, will be like uh, one to two hours of um, exercises and lecture, I guess, uh, you know, presentations, and then applying that to the app that we're building. Um, so then uh, the next session starts in the next half day. And again, it'll be back to, um, you know, presentation style and small exercises, and then applying that knowledge to the, the app again. And um, everybody, so kind of from the right. Beginning. And everyone will be building their own uh, their own app as well. Uh, yeah, so everybody's uh, I guess following the same. Like we're all build, building the same thing, but everybody has their own copy where they can, uh, if they really want, if they're you know uh, very comfortable doing it, embellish themselves to their their own kind of thing. So I know that you're already working on the app that you're going to be building with uh, together with the attendees. Do you want to maybe uh, show us that app? I know it's going to be a live blogging app, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll definitely demo it. Um, the uh, concept is a uh, standalone uh, web app that uh, allows you to write to a live blog and also allows attendees or people watching that live blog to like view the live blog there. And it's using a WordPress site as the back end to publish that live blog too. This is the um, uh, app that we're building. So uh, because you can, the idea is you can use this with any WordPress site that has the REST API. Uh, then you start by, you know, as a, uh, a user want to look at live blogs on a specific site or an editor wanting to publish them. Uh, it starts by asking you for your site URL of, of whatever that is. So uh, for this example, then we're going to actually be live blogging the event with the app that we're building. Um, so it's a little inception use of, <laughs> of the app there. Um, so we have that at a week of rest.hm slash live blog. So this is a um, multi-site instance where we have a site at slash live blog. Uh, so when I connect to that, um, then I'm presented with a list of the live blogs that are on that site for me to view or as an editor to publish to. So if, um, you're, if you're in the newsroom, you can theoretically use this like for different events and you can right. kind of create a site for each yes. of them. Yes. Um, so the, the kind of thing with live blogging is without, you know, a hefty plugin on the WordPress side, using the WordPress uh, admin interface to create new posts every 10 seconds is not really a flow that it's very good at. Um, just because you know, you've got to click add post, it takes time, you've got to save, and you've got to wait. Um, so this is kind of trying to streamline that specific use case. Got it. Uh, so as an editor or a user, I, I select the live blog that I want to work with. 
presented with this page, which is, you know, we've got some demo posts here from earlier already. So the, the basic idea is we have a reverse chronological list of the posts that are in the live blog and that's auto updating. So as a uh, viewer of this event, you know, I, I can see new stuff happening like that. Uh, the user can uh, see new things coming in. They can also like posts with this little heart thing. Um, what is, so, is, this, is this built into the app or what is it? Uh, yeah, so the, the liking, because that's not functionality of WordPress, um, we've actually got a little plugin that we've got on this WordPress site that add post likes, which works with the REST API. So then we're feature detecting that. So if, if you didn't have that plugin on your WordPress site, that you're using for your live blog, then this feature just wouldn't be available. So that's another thing we're teaching in the workshops is like how to feature detect custom uh, endpoints and, and how to build those custom endpoints as well. That's pretty cool. So the, the workshop isn't really focused that strongly on the back end portion of custom API endpoints and things. We've really just, uh, this is kind of the most basic use case we could get for that. So we'll be showing and teaching the PHP code to implement uh, that custom like functionality, which is, you know, a REST API endpoint that updates post meta and things like that. The majority of focus of the workshop is about uh, the front end interacting with the API. Uh, in this case, we're using React JS um, to render all that out and, and everything. Um, so uh, maybe I'll quickly kind of show you the authentication flow because that's quite a key focus, I think, of the rest of, of the uh, workshop is, is handling of authentication because it's quite a Ace. common kind of production use case. Okay. Um, so as an editor or contributor user, then you can click login up in the top right. And uh, this is then going to send me to uh, the, the site. So I need to have a user on that WordPress site because that's what I'm going to be using to publish the posts. So this asks me if I want to allow the application access to my WordPress account. So anybody that's kind of like, allowed permissions in Facebook dialogues. That's essentially what this flow is. Awesome. Um, so I authorize the app to kind of act on my behalf there and I'm sent back and uh, if I select that blog again, you can see I'm logged in as me. So I've got my avatar here um, and I can log out. Um, so because I'm an administrator level user, then I can publish new posts um, to the live blog and I can also submit ones for review. If I'd logged in as a contributor level user, uh, then I'd only get the option to submit for review. So the idea is we're kind of like built into this tool that you can have different people live blogging your event. Maybe there are contributors and then you could have one administrator level user that's approving people's posts. Um, so if uh, I, as a, you know, uh, contributor level user post um, a post, then because I'm an admin, I can discard or publish this post before, you know, the general public, I guess, is going to see that. Um, so if I uh, publish that, for example, then it just drops into the feed normally there. And then you can uh, store those? As an um, admin, you can sort posts? Yes. So as, as an admin, you can uh, like only filter to only pending posts, or you can see all of them. Uh, so if that's kind of part of your workflow, it's kind of simple thing there. You can also sort the posts by likes if you're a user or an admin. So the idea is there may be if there's a large amount of posts for a, a given event, then um, you know people can sort by likes and see the most interesting stuff, I guess, that came came out of that live blog. Right. Um, and this app is fully like fully responsive. It it can be used on mobile and uh, at all that like that that workflow that you just showed us that works. If yeah. You're yeah. So it's on definitely mobile. exactly like the um, it's definitely kind of built for. Uh, mobile in mind with that. So this is all, you know, fully responsive. So I can use this from a phone. Um, we've also added some nice things like there's a nice app icon so you can add to your home screen and you know, there's no Chrome when you boot up that app from your, from your phone and things like that. Um, but yeah, the, the kind of idea is that, uh, this wants to be able to be used, you know, by people sitting in the audience, maybe they only have their phone. So it makes sense to be able to kind of support that use case. So it's just, you know, uh, some responsive CSS and then a few other things to make sure that's all smooth. That's pretty cool. How many stages does the course have? Right. Yeah. So the um, kind of basic concept we've got is we're starting with a, a boilerplate Git repository that has, uh, uh, you know, just a uh, Hello World app. And then we're going to kind of start from there. Um, so the way that I've uh, split that up is essentially then each stage is just a different branch. So it's quite useful for us to be able to see exactly what code we're introducing at which stage. So then we know exactly what we're going to be covering. So it's quite um, well specced out in that regard. So for example, um, we're working with authentication in stage three. Uh, so like we can see exactly what code we're going to be introducing 
um, at that stage so we know exactly what we're going to be covering and, and things like that. And when, again, when people are, if they need to jump ahead stages, then uh, we know exactly what code they're going to have at, at that level. So it's essentially, um, you know, six different pull requests that I've got here, which is, you know, demoing each part of code that we're introducing along the way. All right, great. Uh, and then um, you're also preparing like a course material handbook that people can take away and like use after to uh, just like as hints from from the course as well, Anna. Right. So the idea is if maybe uh, you've forgotten, you know, a lot what you did, or or uh, it was maybe uh, you know some bits that you missed, then we'll essentially be providing a handbook fairly in thorough, which I've, I've only just kind of started here, but where basically it's a walkthrough of everything that, that we covered, both in terms of just, you know, readable language and then some, you know, there'll be a lot more code examples and stuff in here to, to cover that. Like, especially things around authentication, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of techno jargon and, and, you know, people might not be familiar with the OAuth process and things like that. So having that material to kind of refer back to later on, I think is pretty valuable. Anything else you think uh, people might uh, be interested in knowing about the course that we haven't discussed? Um, I'd probably say maybe just like a quick shot of the technologies that we're using might be interesting. Um, so the front end is uh, React.js uh, using um, not many kind of uh, additional modules. We've tried to keep it all quite simple. Um, the dev environment is quite basic. You just uh, have uh, all of the transpiling for ES6. So um, the next version of JavaScript ES6 is what we're writing everything with. So maybe I can just quickly kind of show a bit of that. Um, so it's a very modern style JavaScript from a much more uh, application programming perspective rather than maybe if some people are more used to using jQuery and things to enhance their pages. This is a completely JavaScript first approach uh, of, of um, you know, uh, of, of building that app out. Uh, so because of that, then we're using things like Webpack and uh, be able to transpile those into the, the code the browser runs. Uh, we're using a, a, a NPM module for communicating with sites and the authentication broker. Uh, so that makes all of that stuff quite simple. And like I said, there's that simple plugin that we're going to go through uh, that's PHP. In the workshop as well, people are going to be uh, using a common WordPress install that we have on the network at the venue. Um, so you're not going to need to run your whole WordPress site locally. Hopefully you'll we'll just use this one and everybody can be uh, updating the same information then. Um, so in terms of like what you're going to need on your computer is quite basic. And also on, um, I think on Monday, we're going to do a bit of a clinic to go, you know, work through everybody's laptops and make sure everybody has the right stuff installed and everything is functioning. So when we kind of hit the road um, to start building stuff, then it, we can really get going. We don't have to mess around with fixing issues on people's computers and things. Right. What, what do you reckon the develop, like the level of um, WordPress knowledge and like development knowledge should be to people that are interested in attending? Yeah, that's been a common question. Um, I would say it's um, beginner level uh, JavaScript, but um, somewhat intermediate level programming in general. Um, so I guess you're going to need to understand the concepts of programming, what um, iteration is, what mapping over an array is, you know, things like that. So really experiencing any programming language is going to be fine. Really, um, I see, you know, people with WordPress programming experience, you know, uh, predominantly PHP, um, are going to probably benefit most because they're going to really have the understanding of how all the WordPress stuff is working. So have a good anchor point when it comes to doing all this uh, ES6 JavaScript with modules and uh, React and things like that. So they've kind of got this WordPress home base that is familiar. Um, but I, I'd say if you understand programming concepts, then you're going to be fine. We're really going through everything uh, like the uh, tech stack that you're using from quite a uh, low level. So I definitely wouldn't worry too much about that. Got it. Okay. I really like this web app. I think it can be very, very useful for a lot of, especially media sites for live coverage. That seems like a very, very cool thing that can be also like built upon. Uh, so a lot of things can be added and it can be improved in, in many ways. Yeah, we, we have considered actually doing some kind of stretch goals or ideas for, uh, for the app for implementing you know, some more co cool things like a rich text editor, uploading images and things. There's all things that we could do. It's just frankly, we can't really put that into this week, but there's a lot of other places we could take this. So I think 
at the end of the workshops, we're going to be kind of um, laying out some uh, further kind of development reading on like uh, what you would need to learn to implement these other things. I'm, I, I guess I'm just curious about use cases for the REST API and like uh, apps like this in production in general. Yeah, so um, we, we went over a lot of different ideas for different apps to work out which one is both small enough for us to go through in a week and you know interesting enough that people enjoy building it. Um, the kind of just a website that is rendering using JavaScript from the WordPress backend wasn't um, quite uh, interesting enough because we want to introduce concepts like authentication and writing data to the API from a different decoupled app. Uh, so for that reason, we didn't go down the kind of like um, us2.com style website that's just implemented as a, as a decoupled front end. Um, we had quite a lot of ideas around uh, media tools like a, you know, adding photos by the API, like an app that would allow you to organize photos maybe or upload them from your phone. That, that was uh, definitely one. Something around like a cool comment moderation where maybe you could just, you know, uh, swipe to approve comments or something like that was another one. So kind of after all of that, I, I feel like we settled on something that was... Uh, it's quite a big idea in terms of um, like a whole live blogging app, um, but it, we've really simplified it as much as we can um, and still call it kind of a fully functional app. If people have like ideas about different things that they can build with, uh, with the API and the uh, JavaScript front ends, they can ask you those questions during the workshop. I know there are Q&A sessions planned and, and yeah, all of this. Certainly, um, I think like we've got a good amount of time just to uh, hang out and chat and there's some designated evening slots for people discussing what they might, you know, issues they're seeing or having or ideas and wondering how they can implement it. So it's certainly a great opportunity. I guess to both chat with like other attendees and what they're doing with it with some show and tells, but also uh, talk to the team that are, you know, building out a lot of these tools or that are using them in the production a lot. Um, so it, it's, you know, a, a great excuse to kind of bring all those questions to. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time and for demoing this. The app looks really cool. Um, I just want to say for everyone that um, a week of rest again is from the 5th to the 9th of September in Matlock in the UK. And your uh, tickets, if you decide to sign up, will cover your accommodation and meal and all the course materials and the five days of uh, tutorials and work with our instructors. So if you're interested in, uh, uh, interested in applying, just go to the register page on our website, just shoot us an email, uh, we'll send you all of the information uh, needed. And you can also, of course, reach us and ask us things on both uh, Twitter and via that same email address. All right, I think that's it. And I'm looking forward to hearing how things go with a week of rest. That's no, gonna be great, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. All right, bye Joe. Bye.